Hello all you home birthing moms. My name is Ashley and I am making this video for a few reasons. One, I am 36 weeks pregnant. Well, I think I'm 37 weeks pregnant based on my menstrual cycle. Um, but the ultrasound, early ultrasound, I know most people go by that they say it's more accurate but for me in my previous pregnancies it was not that accurate my menstrual cycle was um they think i'm 36 weeks pregnant what do you guys think here is baby belly at either 36 or 37 weeks pregnant anyway I'm making this video because what else do you do when you're this far along and you have nothing to do? You're sitting in here being tired and grumpy and you just make videos because one thing that I have learned is that being pregnant, watching other women's videos um, has been very helpful for me, so I decided I wanted to make and what else do you do when you're on quarantine? Which I would have been on quarantine anyway. Anyhow, anyhow, I'm making this video to show you all what I am going to take with me to the birthing center. And yes, this time I am having this baby at a birthing center. My last two were in the hospital good experiences but there were a lot of policies that I just didn't like and they made me feel uncomfortable and I, I feel like my labor and delivery could have been a lot more smoother if I just was left alone or didn't have the IV thingy right here. If I, if I can just move freely and do things naturally, if I had a shower or a bathtub or anything like that, to help me relax through the contractions, I think this would have been a lot better. But anyway, that's another story. So I'm bringing this to the birthing center with me. Now that I've done this twice, I know exactly what I need. And there's only a little bit of differences um, that, you, that are different from the hospital compared to the birthing center. And one is snacks. Yes, that's right. When you are in labor, this is my miso soup, you can bring snacks with you to help you through your labor because you need plenty of energy to push, to push through or work through all those contractions. So I have plenty of snacks and this is one thing that they would not let me do when I went to the hospital. They forbidden me to have a popsicle, okay? And this is something that I really did not like. I really wanted to eat. I was really hungry. I was actually just sent over to the hospital for my doctor last time. And they said, no, you can't leave. You're in labor. And I was like, I am? Okay. And then I kind of got caught off guard and I said, okay, I am. But I was starving. I was in labor for hours and... Finally, when baby Shannon was out, I first thing I wanted to do was eat. I was so hungry. All right, so you can bring snacks with you at the birthing center, which is a big, huge plus for me. I am bringing sports bras because I'm going to hopefully birth in the tub. Okay, uh, an outfit, comfortable outfit for home for going home, herbal heat pack, which I made. I love these. I gotta make more. I use herbs, fresh herbs for these. Eucalyptus, cinnamon, uh, peppermint, chamomile to relax you. Uh, this can be put in the freezer for cold or the microwave for heat, which is good. Some slippers. I don't want to walk around barefooted and some shorts just in case which we probably won't need those for very long 
And now here is my uh, prenatal postpartum postpartum bag. I have a thermometer. Thanks, Mom. You sent this to me. I needed this. Uh, hair tie. We all know your crazy hair gets in the way. N organic nipple butter. This is from Earth, uh, Earth Mama. It is food grade and it is safe for baby. It smells really good. It looks gross, but it works really good. This, this I never thought I needed until my second baby, in which I totally knew I needed. So I got a better brand than just the typical one. Um, this I've never tried before, but I keep hearing it is really super good with um, after pains, the cramps, after pains. Um, some women will not go into the next room without two things, this and their baby, of course. They say w once you start feeling a contraction, an afterbirth contraction or an afterbirth cramp to um, take this and it will ease your pain within 30 seconds. So the more babies you have, the harder the cramps are supposedly, which was true for my second baby. I did have some pretty um, painful cramp, cramping afterwards. So this is supposed to help. It's called After Ease and it's from Wish Garden. Uh, Biofreeze for labor. You can put this on your back or your sore muscles and it's supposed to help. I didn't try this last time. Hopefully it does work. I do know that this works with cramps too. So I'm definitely going to use that. Ibuprofen I will use. I do not like using Vicodin or uh, Oxycontin or whatever they give you, Valium or I don't like using those because there's too many, um, just too many, what do you call it? I don't know, just side effects on those. Last time I took them, the nurse was trying to talk to me and I was literally spinning like crazy. Like I, I couldn't even concentrate. And that's very scary to me because I was holding my newborn baby too. So I took one of those and I, then I said, no, can you just give me something uh, my, more mild uh, ibuprofen, and that's what worked for me. Uh, medicated cooling pads, of course. Those, these were awesome. I used these nonstop. They felt so good because I had some tearing and some stitches, and that really helped me. Some nursing pads, nipple pads for leaks after three days. Those are very useful and let's see that's it um, I already dropped off a box to the, the center which was the pool lining um, the pads the peri bottle uh, the peri cleanse the golden seal root powder which you put on the umbilical cord and that is already there with towels I think I said that I don't know maybe I didn't pregnancy brain it's a real thing. And sheets, clean sheets. So that's already there at the birthing center. And hopefully I can get the labor and delivery recorded so I can make a video, another video. And I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped you um, figure out what you can bring to you with your birth. And yeah, I hope it helps. And this was fun making this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And we will see you hopefully in a couple weeks with a new video with baby. Bye.